Hey guys, Derek here, and in this video, we're going to be talking about how to send command inputs to an output file. And before we get started, I'm going to explain a little bit about this. So you should understand that there's a difference between this symbol and the symbol. They are both technically the same thing. They do the same thing, but this one symbol here means append. So what do I mean by that? Append means initially add something. And then if you add this, this means add more. So if I want to, uh, and a good way to explain this is uh, we'll do basic stuff. So we'll do like listing. So I can list all of the all of the folders in my terminal with a normal command but if I want to keep a record of what's in this folder I can do clear and I can do ls and then I can do append and then let's say desktop and then let's go home record.txt and that's going to send the folder listing that I did and it's going to print it out so now I know everything in my home folder and I can save it to a file so if I need information I can grab it and it, it's, it works with any command. So if I want to add to this listing, and let's say I want to ls um, what's in my Dropbox folder, and I want to add that to my home record folder, for some, my home record file for some reason, I can do that. And that's going to also append to it, and then I can reload it. And now, not only do I have everything that was in my home folder, which is about up to here, I also have everything else here so I can add to it as much as I want and it's not just the ls command it's any command you can think of some of them are going to need to be sudo because you'll need root permissions to run them correctly so for example if I want to send the results of apt update I would have to do sudo s then I can do apt update then I can send uh, this to a text file on my desktop and we can do apt results.txt. And then I can open up apt results in the text editor. And we can see that it starts to input a command. It doesn't do it with every one of them. So some of them you're going to see it doesn't have a good scripting interface. But basically, that's how that works. You can send stuff to a file. So the main thing that I use this for is uh, I use sending file sending commands to a file a lot for manuals. So the, if you don't know what the manual command is, manual just means that, like if I want the manual information for apt, like we we're talking about, I can do man and then I can do apt, and this gives me a browser that tells me everything that there is to know about this command, and I can get a detailed explanation of every single sub option and everything like that. Well, the manual command is in a terminal, and it's not exactly my favorite way to view manuals. So what I can do is I can do man apt, and then I can send it to a file on my desktop and uh, save it to a text file, and then open it, and that command outputs, like I said, to here. I can also, like I said, I can add more stuff. So if I also want the apt-get manual, and I can do... I can prepend it, so like I said, prepend, and my text file is going to reload. So now I have not only the entire manual for the apt command, but I also added the manual for the apt-get command. So we've got a whole bunch of stuff here, and uh, you can be creative, you can do whatever you want, you can send any kind of command, any terminal command that you use regularly, it, you know, it could be directory listings, it could be, you know, it could even be like the cat command. So one last example for before I go. So you can use cat to view a text file and I have this Ubuntu uh, post installer that I use and that I write. Whenever I set up a new version of Ubuntu I wrote this script and it will set everything up for me and um, if I want to look at the source code but I don't necessarily want to view it as an sh file I can do cat and then my stuff and then I can send that to a text file so Ubuntu installer text and I'll send that to the desktop. And that will show me the results of the text file. It will send me the source code and I can just view it as a normal text file. You can send any one input into another output. So I hope that you guys like this video and uh, I will see you in the next one.